This is for the sign of Aries. This is for December. Um, I hear destruction. I see the walls are caving in. Maybe that's what you feel like. You feel like the walls are caving in on you. Maybe you feel as if your dreams are not coming true. Um, I, I hear seize the opportunity. Seize the opportunity to walk away. Spirit is giving you the chance to walk away from a situation that could be detrimental to your soul or to your health or to your path. Um, I hear opportunities come but once in a lifetime. Let me see what this is about. I hear daydreamer. So you could have been daydreaming about opportunities. This seems like job, job loss. You could have had a loss of an income or a loss of a job. Um, I hear about a director. So if there was a director that was shady, you could have lost a job from somebody who was working there that was shady, someone who was problematic. You could have also had somebody in your life who was shady and problematic, like to stir up and cause a lot of dra drama and trouble in your life. But this seems like it could be on the job. Like a, um, a manager or employee. Okay. So this is a cycle in your job, a job cycle that's coming to an end. Maybe you need to end a contract at your job that you're holding on to. You could be resisting change right now. Um, you could be resisting change because I hear battle. You could be battling yourself. You could be battling depression. You could be battling depression. Darkness, sadness. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this could this could be a partnership. It could be a partnership with a fire sign. Um, if not, like I said, I think it's something to do with a job. Let's see. Yeah. Like, so this came to me reversed. When it fell, it came out reversed. But then I see it going up. I think one job cycle needs to come to an end. Like, I keep hearing seasons. Um, some of you guys are drivers. I hear commercial, commercial drivers. So you have lots of worries because a, a job came to an end. You could have lost a job or income, like I said. But... <clears throat> Basically, this was meant to happen. I hear explosions of gifts. Things could be coming to an end in your in your world, and you think it's the end. You're trying to grip on to anything of familiar out familiar. Oh God, I can't say the word. Anything that's familiar. <laughs> Spirit wants you to charge forward. Like you've been stuck in the same cycle for too long. I hear barely making it or trying to make ends meet. Um, yeah. Things have been so stagnant in your life and it looks like spirit is trying to bring balance back into your life. This is balance back into your finances, but to me, this also seems like a way of thinking, like harmful. You have harmful thoughts. For some of you, you could have thought about causing harm to yourself because you feel like your life is not worth living or it's stagnant. 
nothing ever goes right for me. Why am I even here? You know, um, restless I hear and ruthless. You could be restless, ruthless, but you can literally be going through like a, a traumatic time. You could be fighting yourself. You could be posing a threat to your own self. This is really sad. Um, this is sad. It could have been an ending of a relationship. Um, yeah. You just feel like things are not going your way or things are not growing. You feel like you're just here. You're just merely existing and you want to do more than just exist. Spirit says that you're more than capable, but it's like fear. I keep hearing fear. It's like you're holding your own self back from your own destiny because I see somebody afraid to take a leap of faith, afraid to take an opportunity or a chance. Hermit mode. <clears throat> you could have been in hermit mode for a long time or you could have been connected to a Virgo, but this is somebody who's thinking about their life. This is somebody who's crying, sitting in sadness. I hear, I got the blues. You feel really down on your luck. Don't know who to turn to. Yeah. This could have been a period of time where a family was broken up. And this, this could be causing you the sadness. Somebody that you felt was a rider. You could have been riding for this person. You thought you were going to ride until the wheels fall off. I hear Bonnie and Clyde. You guys could have been, you felt like they were here forever, you know, um, a forever love that has come to an end. You can share children with this person um, or you could you could be pregnant right now. And I hear sharing a home. You could have shared a home together with this person at one time. And they could have ghosted you. Or they could have left you at a time where you could have been really ill. Somebody in this situation could be mentally ill or mentally unstable. Yeah, let's look about secrets. What is the secret? You could have also been connected to a cancer. What is the secret? Ooh, Chamon, huh? Yeah. Third party, like lots of heartbreak. I hear disharmony and discord. You could have also found out that your partner could have gotten someone else pregnant. Whatever you found out, it has you at a loss of words. Um, you could literally feel like your back is against the wall or your head can be spinning. I see somebody crying, like how could they do this to me? Let's see. Yeah. So this could have been some dark energy. Um, this was a wish. Like you could have been trying to manifest things so that you and this person could could last. Uh, this looks like pain. This could be past pain. This can be past pain and heartache. Or this can be somebody who's in and out your life. And the secret is that they have a third party. And you're unaware of it, but your intuition is leading you. But you can be going back and forth with yourself. For some of you, I, somebody hears voices. Somebody is hearing voices. So it could literally be... 
like the voices are telling you to release someone who's been a burden in your life. Or once again, I did say I, like somebody who could be mentally ill. Maybe you could have been attached to someone who was mentally ill and heard voices. I hear stringing along. This person could have strung you along for a very long time. I hear manipulation. Yeah, this is a third party. This is somebody who wasn't investing in you the way that they should have because they were too busy building a home with somebody else. That's what it seems like. Somebody who was actually building a home with somebody else. I see a newborn baby, like somebody bringing home a baby. So someone that you could have been connected to, you could have found out that they brought home a new baby with somebody else. I hear I heard through the grapevine. So you heard it. Um, but the good news is after all the hurt and pain that you've endured, like there is a happy time in store for you. I hear release the re the the residue. So for some of you, this situation could be past tense. Maybe you could have went through a, a deep, dark depression because of this. This this could have been the beginning of, of a whole life transformation. You could have lost a lover, found out that they had a baby with somebody else. Or if you're a man, you found out that you're not the father of a baby and you were taking care of the baby and you found out that it's not yours. So it made you fall into a depression and then you could have lost the job and lost the income. And this looks like a series of events that could have happened like one after the other. Um, I hear train wreck. You could have felt like a train wreck. Or, and I did say that at first, like the walls, the walls are closing in on you but there's a happy outcome in store. Yeah. And that's you, like you had to back down. Somebody had other choices, other options. They kept choosing other people over you. They were a choosy lover, you know? For you, this could have been love at first sight, I heard, I hear. Love at first sight. So it's like you could have met this person and you guys could have been glued at the hip ever since. Something that you thought had the potential to last forever or for somebody to stay in your life forever came crashing down. It could have been a nightmare from like a, a, a romance to a nightmare. But you don't want to deal with the disrespect. I hear the disrespect and the lies. You don't want to compete for somebody else's love or attention or affection. Yeah. You could have also found out that somebody was married or they could have been married to you and they were juggling another family because this definitely seems like two family situations. Two homes, two potential homes. Somebody could have creeped out at night and told you they were doing one thing, but what they were really doing was tending to another home at night. You finally made the decision for some of you that you don't want to reunite with this person anymore. Yeah. I hear up late at night thinking so you could have also been connected to an air sign, but they had you up at night thinking, or you've been thinking about this whole entire situation, trying to figure out how the hell did you get here? Yeah. So you could have also been connected to an earth sign, or you could be at a point where you're trying to put this behind you and you could be thinking about your finances. Like, what are you gonna do in terms of income? This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This shows like the end of a betrayal. The end to um, hard times. If you are having financial issues, it looks like you might be getting a break. 
within your financial status. So this shows the 10, the end of a, a really, really tough situation that was heartbreaking. This also shows like a death. Somebody could literally be suffering from a, a death, like a loss in the family. Somebody could have lost a, a close parent, a parent that they were truly close to and adored. This can also be a grandparent. You could have had a grandparent that you love so much. They could have felt like a, a mother or a father because of the way they cared and nurtured you. And they died. And you could be grieving the loss of a loved one. Yeah. This has been a lot of spying. Somebody who hurt you has been spying on you. You could have also been tied to a, um, a Pisces. But somebody, somebody is spying on you. Whatever you found out, it just seemed like it was so hurtful that it could have like numbed you, you know? You could have truly like shut down. I want to focus on the sun. You could have truly like shut down or it could have numbed you, made you cold and isolated. Hard to focus. Some of you guys can currently be trying to numb the pain. Be careful about that because I hear impulsive. You can be so hurt by what has happened that um, you become impulsive. You can be sleeping with somebody. It could be like a temporary fix. You could be indulging in alcohol or smoking a lot to numb the pain. We'll see what else. Yeah. And it could have took a long time, like, you know, things have been stagnant in your life for a very long time. Um, hmm. Whoa. Let's see. Yeah. Heartache and loss. So I did say that, like, you could, it could literally be like a loss, like a loved one dying. I don't know why I feel that so strongly. You could have lost a loved one and you could have lost some money and income. I hear family secrets. I hear sleep deprivation. So somebody is sleep deprived. Somebody is trying to figure out like, how can they move forward? Like, how can I move on? Movement choices and decisions. You're trying to figure out, but your, vi your vision is clouded because there's so much deception that is on your mind or clouding your judgment. There's lots of pain and rage. And you're going to have to make a, a sacrifice. I feel like you sacrificed yourself too much. I think you sacrificed yourself to help somebody else grow their dreams. Um, you know, Aries, like a beautiful question that you can ask yourself. How was it so easy for you to support other people's dreams and their journey and their walk of life? But when it comes to yourself, you can um, like procrastinate on your own dreams. So you procrastinate on your own dreams or you're very reluctant to move forward in your life, but you're very supportive for other people's lives. That's a, that's a beautiful question to ask because that can be like self-sabotage, you know? Like, let's see what's going on in Aries' heart. Yeah, look, that's the inner child. Your inner child is wounded. So you can be like a people pleaser or you do lots of things for people. You don't get the ret return of all the work that you put into other people. You feel like an outcast. You feel overshadowed, overlooked unappreciated and undervalued. But normally, if this is what you feel internally, it has nothing to do with the outside. It's it's you. Like if people are not being appreciative of you or they're not valuing you, it's because 
you probably got to look into how you feel about yourself. They have like in therapy, the mirror, like you have to put up the mirror and look in the mirror and hold yourself accountable. Like what type of energy are you pouring out to people? Is your energy speak of people pleasing? Do you neglect your own needs to tend to others? Because that's like a lack of self-love or it's the inner child. It's like a wounded child who does things in hopes that people will stay with them or stay connected to them or people who want people to like them. But the truth is, it's like you need to like you first. If you don't value you, or if you don't love you, or if you don't feel handsome or beautiful to yourself, then you, you're not going to be able to find that outside. You got to reclaim your joy and, and your self-love internally. That's the only way that you can receive it back. But if you're over giving and giving and giving, of course you feel depleted and empty. It's because you're allowing people to take your kindness for weakness. And you have to understand, Aries, like you do have a choice. You know, maybe it's hard for you to break out of this cycle of over giving and ending up empty. You know, maybe you are the one who always shows up for people. I keep seeing deathbed. Someone really was going through a loss. I send my condolences to you because I see deathbed. You could have been at some at the, somebody's deathbed, like crying, or you could have been praying, you know, begging for mercy for this person to stay alive. They could have been, they could have had cancer. Or some type of illness that they suffered from. But this seems like it could be a grandparent or a parent, somebody that you you treasured or, or held close to your heart that has left the world. Um, but yeah, your inner child is is really wounded. You know, you have this, this people pleasing thing to you and you end up getting the, the short end of the stick. And spirit wants you to pay attention to your dreams. Like they've been trying to send you signs and synchronicity so that you could, um, they're trying to guide you like while you sleep. But I feel like a lot of you guys are not getting sleep. I just keep hearing like not getting rest. Somebody is restless. Mm -hmm. And this is because someone is feeling like rejected, you know, they're feeling rejected by a past lover. I hear also a past friend. They feel casted out by family. This person feels all alone. They feel like they do, do, do for people, but people don't ever acknowledge them or appreciate them. But the real truth is you don't ever take time to acknowledge yourself either. And that's another thing. Like, what do you appreciate about you? You can start journaling that. Like, what do I like about myself? You know, you'll start to figure out a lot, like through journaling. Like, what do I like about myself? What do I have to offer to the world? Why am I so fearful to take a leap of faith for myself? But it's so easy for me to support someone else's journey. Why is it so hard for me to love myself and for me to accept myself? Why do I feel like somebody has to validate me outside in order for me to feel good on the inside? You know, I once again, I keep hearing temporary fix. Temporary fix. Yeah. And this shows courage and love. Maybe it's going to take a whole lot of courage for you to get to a place of love within yourself. Let's see how the cross watcher, how does the cross watcher feel for Aries? What are they going through? How does the cross watcher? So even though somebody can be acting like a prick to you. They felt a true love connection with you, even though they didn't they didn't appreciate you. Oh. But your cross watcher can be going through um, a financial loss as well. You know, I hear the well went dry. Somebody maybe you loan this person a lot of money. Maybe they had a, an, an addiction that you used to support. Gambling. I hear gambling. Somebody you were connected to was gambling. They're suffering in silence because of this breakup. 
It also could be because of whatever you found out about them, it came to the surface, but they're suffering in silence and they're going through a financial loss, whoever you are connected to. Yeah, because of this ending, suffering in silence because this relationship has came to an end and they're feeling mentally conflicted. So it's like you both, you both are, are going through suffering because of this ending, both of y'all. Spirit wants you to take a chance on yourself and charge towards the light. You know, maybe you tend to think about the darkness or all the dark things that have happened to you. And spirit wants you to take, take hold of your life, take heed of your life, take a chance on yourself, invest in yourself. Allow yourself to rest or rest all your worries into a higher, a higher, um, you know, if you, if you pray to God, like, or if you believe in the universe, whoever you pray to, like rest your worries down and take a chance on yourself. And it shows that you are going through a spiritual transformation at the time. You're currently going through a spiritual transformation. Let's see. Mm. See? And it says you deserve love. You are lovable. I feel like some of you guys feel like you're not lovable or you don't, you don't deserve love. Sometimes you feel discouraged within love because of your choices. I hear piercing to the heart. You feel pierced in your heart. You could have been engaged to this person but you feel like they're worth waiting for. Let's see, spirit. What is potential outcomes for this love? And I see yes. So maybe you and this love interest could have went through a dark time. But with time, things can be, and it shows unlikely. Let's see. We're going to clarify these. And it shows you listen to your intuition, your intuition. Maybe you are saying yes, that this is your person and spirit can be telling you it's unlikely, you know, and they want you to listen to your intuition. Maybe you don't want to believe that, you know, things are over. Let's see. Clarify unlikely. Okay. So it shows unlikely that there will be fairness in this situation or balance. Maybe this person is so unbalanced and so impossible. I see. Yes. Clarify. Yes, spirit. Yeah. They're saying, yes, it was a bittersweet moment. Bittersweet moment. And it's unlikely that there will be balance and fairness in this situation. I feel like this person is selfish or self-centered or self-sabotaging yeah and they said listen to your intuition in regards to work i think that there's a calling on you i feel like if some of you lost a job it's because spirit is giving you the opportunity to line up with your your true purpose or your true passion maybe you're fearful because you feel so unlovable it could be affecting the way you view yourself all the heartache and disappointment can be eating up at inside of you. And it could be making you feel as if you're, you're unworthy. So not only does it make you feel, I hear revengeful, you could be feeling revengeful because of what happened to you in a love situation, but it's starting to spill out on your work and the possibilities. You could have lost an income or lost a job, but it's spirit only giving you an opportunity to align yourself with what you truly do want to do. See, there's something that you're truly passionate about, but you're afraid to take a chance. Let's find out. Ooh. Some of you work with crystals. Some of you guys can be a healer. Um, some of you guys can work with animals. Maybe you want to, you have a dream of opening up your own animal facility or animal shelter. 
or maybe you have an animal that you love a lot. Ooh, this is also children. Maybe some of you guys want to work with children or you want to open up a daycare. You want to be a teacher. You like to work with children. And then it says music. Maybe some of you guys need, it's time for you to step out on faith and, and start your music career or put it out there. Let's see what else. See, some of you guys are looking through your options. Some of you guys are artists. You like to do artwork. Maybe you're afraid, but you should do a pop-up art show, you know? Maybe that's something that you desire, but you're 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 truly afraid. Counseling. Maybe some of you guys are good at counseling and helping your friends and you somebody could have encouraged you and said, "You know, you'll make a really good counselor." And you want to do it, but you're afraid to take a chance or a leap of faith on yourself. I feel like this breakup is actually an opportunity to set yourself free from having to nurture to others' needs so that you can finally nurture yourself. That's what it seems like. All right. So I'm going to continue with the extended. Let's see what's going to happen in your love life. Let's, let's see what's going to come for the future. If you and this person will come together. All right. And I send you so much love and light to all you Aries who are going through this struggle currently. Okay. I'm not doing personal readings right now. Um, so if you would like, you can definitely purchase the extended. And once again, I send you so much healing light, love, 